this old jumper and I have these paints and I'm gonna dye it. I was given this jumper I think for Christmas a few years ago, quite a few years ago now, and I wore it a lot, but then I stopped wearing it, and I think if I dye it, maybe I'll start wearing it again. So I'm going to just give it a go. Um, it's by We Hairy People, We Are Hairy People, on Etsy, and it has these hand-painted chameleons on it. I love them so much. I think they still sell this jumper, actually. I think they still do this design, so I will list link to the listing but yeah so I've got my jumper and then I'm gonna try diluting these acrylic paints and just using that to to dye it it probably would turn out nicer if I also used um, textile medium but you know like when kids are told that something is hot and to not touch it but then they touch it anyway because their silly little brain needs to experience it for themselves it's like that i'm pretty sure that textile medium would make it nicer but i just want to try it without for myself so that i can see see how it turns out maybe it will go really crispy but I need to know for myself, <laughs> so I'm just going to try it. It should be fine. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not wearing the jumper anyway, I can't make it less wearable. It has a hole in it, I didn't know that was there. I wonder if I can fix that. But anyway, I'm going to make the jumper wet, because I'm pretty sure when you dye things, you make them wet first. I don't know. This is not a tutorial. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to go make this wet and get some water to mix my paints in. Isn't dissolving very evenly. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be awful.
Right, I'm just going to leave this here now to stew in its juices for a bit. <laughs> Maybe dry out slightly and then I'll see what happens. It has soaked up all of that water and it has blended a little bit which looks kind of cool. I've pulled it over to the radiator to help it dry out a little bit hopefully and then I'll hang it up to finish drying. Remember how I said that this isn't a tutorial, it's because I end up in situations like this. I think that this is finally dry now. I think it's looking pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna fix this little hole.
done. I put it through the wash yesterday because it was a little bit stiff and it also smelt a little bit like a rag that you use to clean paintbrushes with. <laughs> but now it doesn't smell and it's not stiff at all. It did lose a little bit of its colour, but I still really like it, so it's fine. I definitely like it enough to start wearing it again. So I achieved what I set out to achieve. I will probably um, have another go at it at some point. I think my paint water should have been more painty. I think I'd put more paint in it next time. And I think I will use textile medium as well because it might help more of the paint stay in the fabric better when it gets washed. I might also try to figure out a way of doing it that doesn't mean I just make a puddle on the floor. <laughs> the reason I didn't just do it in the sink or in a box was because of the two colours and I couldn't figure out how to like dunk the jumper without like with keeping them separate. I don't know, I'm sure you're all thinking of a really obvious way of doing it and I'm just an idiot. But it worked. I have floor space to make a puddle, so it's fine. <laughs> I really like these bits where the paint didn't mix properly and it's got little splodges. There's some up here as well where the green is a little bit patchy. I really, really like the look of that. And I really like the visible mending as well. I think that looks really cool. And yeah, like I say, I might go over it again to make it more saturated, but I'm really pleased with it. I think it looks nice and I definitely will start wearing it again. And that was the point, to not waste, waste the jumper. And it's cool, I love the chameleons. They deserve to be out in the world. So yeah, thanks for watching my goblin attempt at dyeing a jumper. <laughs> um, that's the end. <laughs>